Ah, yeah. Do not hold. Alright. This is a, this is going to be our intro. This how it always happens. <laughs> like failing to know how to start, and then we start. Yeah. So to Mianza Sasa, we have started the vlog. Okay. Bye. Cool. Welcome, guys. Um, yeah, welcome to another vlog. Took a little longer to get back to you guys than we had thought in the last vlog, but hey, we are back. We are here in the office, in our office, <laughs> officially. Yeah. This used to be my balcony, <laughs> and then now see we quit our jobs as we were telling you guys yeah. in the last episode. Just by the way, and so this is now basically the office. Yeah. Uh, tea instead of beer because <laughs> it's working hours, not so weekend vlogging. Yeah. So yeah, just those are a few of the changes that have occurred. Obviously, in the last month, as we had indicated in the last vlog, we are now officially the two first employees of African Stock Photo, which is pretty amazing. And yeah, there have also been a couple of other big things that have happened in the last few weeks. Mm. That's my cue. Yeah, I guess uh, well, in this episode we just want to tell you guys about how we've been able to change a lot about what we're doing on the product and like in terms of growing our photographer database and so on in a very short time. Which is really the reason we wanted to quit our jobs, not that yeah. we were going to be making a lot more money or <laughs> anything like that. Because yeah. We are not spoiler. Um, instead, it's that we are able to move on this thing that we have a lot of ideas about a lot quicker than we were in the year where we were doing this as a part time thing. Yeah, actually, if we can pause for one second, I didn't check audio. I'm just going to make sure that we can do it. Yeah, I feel like this has happened many times, but you usually check at the end. One day you're going to catch us on like progress. a whole episode last year. Okay. Prog this is yeah. progress. We're going the right way. Like, yeah, we're fine. Way. Audio is good. We can carry on from, from yeah. wherever the hell we were. Where were we? Um, Things are changing quick. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I guess we, like one example of that that we can talk about is there was some fortuitous timing that we had with a feature with those. We put one of those little chat widgets on our website so that people can get in touch with us directly. Like, Dicky and I have apps on our phones. There's no like support desk anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, in it's India. Us. <laughs> yeah, it's us being contacted. Um, and we installed this widget on a Friday. And then on Sunday night, someone added us to Product Hunt. And yeah. for those who don't know, Product Hunt is a place where you can find out about cool upcoming startups and recently launched things um, and it has quite a big audience. I believe the guys behind it are the guys of AngelList, so it's people who are quite big in Silicon Valley. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah so that was that was a great thing getting featured on product and just yeah. like never expected it. It was in the plans we weren't contacted. We just got an a, a tweet I think they're being told that we're, we've been featured on product and and yeah I mean that got us mad traffic. Like mm -hmm. We had a lot of people coming through the site, which was like, like he said, perfect timing because we had just introduced this widget whose sole purpose was basically to get um, feedback from guys who are using the site. Mm. And so for us to have put that up and then get this crazy traffic on the site over the course of the week that we had put it up was like just amazing. Yeah. Uh, like for context, this, I think our best ever traffic day was beaten by like five times or yeah. something on this day. And this is including our past attempts at marketing, paying yeah. for ads online and stuff. So, yeah, product hunt was huge. Mm -hmm. And we started getting a lot of feedback through that widget. You know, I mean, I'm an internet person, and I therefore assume the worst of people because the internet can be a very bad place. Eh? <laughs> so, I expected people to just be using that widget to send us yeah, all abuse. sorts of garbage. Yeah. To date, we've only had one person go in there and like test their keyboard keys and send yeah. us crap. Um, well, there was that there was that one guy who I think misunderstood. <laughs> I think it was a Nigel guy. Sort of misunderstood what we we're guessing, but we assume he misunderstood what royalty free means. So he basically came on and wasn't happy that stuff on the site wasn't free. So you can blip no, stuff so out. Was, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he, he said his email address <laughs> as you at africanstockholder.com. <laughs> <laughs> so when and then he told us he introduced himself with his first name. Hi, you. Uh, yeah. What don't so. use bait to bring people <laughs> to your site and stuff. But misunderstanding probably. So largely speaking, guys have yeah. been so constructive in their feedback yeah. and 
some of the main takeaways we've been getting is obvious things that we want to grow our database further. People were looking for things that they didn't quite find even though they were happy with the platform otherwise. Yeah. A lot of people are not happy with the price point and this was a slightly more tricky one to digest because I mean stock photography goes from everything from a dollar to five hundred dollars yeah. and it's hard to know like our, our price point twenty dollars per image. It's hard to just blindly react and chop the price or whatever yeah. but the key one the most exciting feedback we got is a lot of people who came onto the site were looking to do some big project or campaign or website or whatever and they're like I need 10, 20, 50 or well, one, one person yeah. needed 50 yeah. images and they basically they were like 20 is not bad for one image but at the scale that I'm buying I don't think I can just pay 20 yeah. times 50 for all the images yeah which was great feedback like so initially the guys were just like oh too expensive too expensive and that's not enough feedback for you to make changes like so should we bring it down to two dollars should be 19 you know you can't really tell where the you can't gauge where the the change needs to happen so for guys to then come on board and start saying like yo we need 10 can we get a better price for this yo i need 50 can we get a better price for this that really helped us to have now like a focus for where we need to go with this mm -hmm. um the ch pricing changes or adjustments that we need to make on the site yeah so that's that's going to be basically the thing that we're hinting at is we're going to introduce like uh, bundles or packages we're calling them image packs where instead of the full price you can buy a certain number of image download credits which apply flatly to all images on the site some websites will charge you like this image costs two credits this image yeah. costs ten credits we, we want to keep it simple like, all images cost you one download mm -hmm. and so you know the price per image quite easily in fact it's written there when you're buying the pack um, and yeah, we're hopeful that this is a way that we will be able to get a lot more people buying at bulk, which I didn't know was a thing personally coming yeah. into this. You know, Dick is a person whose background is on, you know, both sides of this market and just the guy who knows how to code. I did not expect that we would have a lot of people coming on the internet saying that they want 20 plus images in one one shot. Like, we expected a lot more. I expected a lot more yeah. of the one you know, off one buyers. Yeah. Maybe two images of that fit a certain theme. But yeah. Yeah, so we have a bulk buyer market that we need to address and we will be addressing this change. Yeah, so we're actually like almost done, almost into testing so that it's like, so I think, I don't know, Sitati will tell us, but I'm guessing like a week, two weeks. Uh, we should hopefully, or early next week, yeah. we will be live. Um, and our photographers, our contributors will be getting an email about this, another nice thing that we're throwing in is that we're upping the payout ratio so that people will actually get more than 50 percent on yeah. average for the sales that we make on the platform through image packs through, through image packs yeah. yeah so yeah this this will all be live on the site by the time our next vlog is out maybe even by the time you're watching this hopefully mm -hmm. early next week as a deadline um yeah. this is just one example of how things are moving quick uh, yeah if you look at our perception of what we were going to do oh, like that, yeah. Like if you look at boys, yeah, and, boys and girls. <laughs> if you look at what we were expecting to be doing right now, we expected to be in one of the co-working spaces in Nairobi, working nicely there with coffees and everything. Um, but then we looked at the money and yeah. the kind of things that we want, and like we actually found out that in terms of like incentivizing photographers to sign up. The same forty or four hundred dollars a month that we could spend paying for office space in Nairobi yeah. could instead go into growing our photography database every day. Yeah, I just means we get to work out here in the balcony in the sun, which is not and not so terrible. The worst yeah. So yeah, I mean, but that's that's been a feature that we've learned a lot about in the one month that we've been well, the one month I have been full time, mm -hmm. is that things change so quickly and decisions have to be made basically on a day-to-day -day basis which is a really cool thing by the way we got we got advice from one of our mentors just yeah. recently and like the advice was don't be slow yeah. and that that's amazing advice and fits in well with like the the lessons we've learned over the last couple of months where you just get you get feedback you have to move on it if you trust some info or data that you've got you move on it quickly and as quickly as possible doing it as simple as possible and yeah and see how it works out yeah. so and it's super exciting because it genuinely means like it, of course from a more from a step back like you guys have where we don't you don't have every detail of our day-to-day -day operation these might not seem like huge moves but 
to us, it generally means we're coming into work every day and there's a possibility that by the end of the day there'll be something fundamentally different about yeah. our business or the service we're offering and that we had no idea yeah. about in the morning. It's a really exciting thing. Mm. Do we want to brag about our mad sales? Yeah, yeah, I think we must talk about our heaviest our sales week in sales. the history of African <laughs> stock photo. Yeah. So, yeah, we mentioned we got featured on Product Hunt and we were also running a campaign on Facebook at the same time. So that uh, that one week we had like monstrous traffic. And during this time, we had our best sales week in the history of the company. <laughs> by by, um, by um, a, long, a long way. And the exciting thing is there were so many little details of like theories that we wanted to test and it's one of the reasons I put that widget on there like our, our approach to everything is come up with a theory and experiment to prove or disprove it and very quickly like either Make cement this as a, as a part of the site or ditch it like because you were proven wrong yeah and so much about the type of imagery that people want the people who will be buying our images um, yeah just a lot of theories were proven yeah. in a very short time with this product and thing and it's yeah that one week has had a lot a big impact on basically what we are now planning yeah. for the next three six months of our platform um yeah so that that was an exciting that was very good yeah. like to wake up that that was the one for me the day there was one there was one day we woke up and on our slack channel we have like a an alert for when people buy buy images when you wake up in the morning and without any assistance or communication or whatever someone has gone on your platform found amazing images and paid for them that just blew my mind man. that yeah. was i mean i've been building it. software for like a decade yeah and it still blows my mind like this thing <laughs> did what it's supposed to do yeah. without anyone it's looking at it you zero know? human intervention yeah well on our part obviously yeah. a human but it. hopefully might just about about like my image purchase about <laughs> okay, you know, okay you know, yeah, it's fine. the money came through it's fine <laughs> uh yeah that that was a really exciting week mm-hmm. and yeah so now it's just about growing and doing more of the same um the content marketing stuff is an exciting and daunting task because yeah. we need to find a way to bring the same kind of traffic to our contributors photos every day in the way that product hunt did on this one day yeah but at least it's a glimpse into you know the future that we want three months down the line yeah and what where we need to grow the platform where we're already doing okay yeah overall it was it's, it's a good time yeah so yes i think that's we'll us see you guys in the next vlog yes